three days after I played my last melodies in the forest, the snow arrived for good. It would come little by little to finally cover the earth like a soft, thick blanket so that she can fall asleep and curl inside of herself. After the Feast of Colors that autumn was, the time has come for a long period of simplicity of our surroundings. These days it was rare for me to take my car to the forest, so I would rather walk and make new discoveries of little charming spots that otherwise would be passed by unnoticed. There were these birches growing in a circle. When I was making friends with them I was looking up to see how their branches interact with each other and at the same time don't interrupt their neighbors. I also reminded myself about a book that I heard about a long time ago, The Hidden Life of Trees, but somehow never got to read it, so I decided to finally give it a go to get some other perspective. I have to admit that, although I find it really fascinating, after all these months I still only have read all one third of the book. I was also looking forward to capture some ice on the lake, but each inch of the ice that grew was immediately followed by a snowfall and totally covered by it. It was also a time when I had some doubts about using my vintage lenses for videos. As I operate them manually and have inappropriate tripod, it is difficult to avoid shaky images. But the doubts came from comparing my work to that made with modern digital lenses and more sophisticated equipment, which isn't fair. And perhaps with adjusting my approach to filming, I can improve what I do. It's easy to get trapped when trying to do something we think is expected by others to meet standards set by them and we can lose our own unique ways in the process. Sometimes when we focus too much on the fact that things are not exactly as we want them to be, we can miss out on how magical they actually are. I no longer dare to think of replacing my vintage lenses with more fancy modern ones, because the magic I can see through them is just enchanting. I allowed myself to let go of the need to be perfect. We all face some limitations and try our best regardless. The truth is that very often we are the worst judges of ourselves. I am not perfect and why should I strive so much to be? I believe that in this human experience we all have our flaws and weaknesses and being honest about it makes us more authentic.
I like to capture the magic that happens on the very ground, among the grasses. The make walking upon the earth softer and more gentle experience. So I would like to honor them a little bit in this video. I was amazed by all the beautiful crystals of ice covering the branches. And when you live with so much beauty around to explore, your heart just keeps expanding. I knew from the very beginning that to go through the winter here with good levels of motivation I have to stay active and spend as much time in nature as possible. I think that the rivers also bring a lesson that as long as you keep moving you don't become stagnant. trees covered with snow, also lakes were becoming very still. Everything was becoming still. And life was flowing slower and slower. The nature was gently falling asleep.
In the evenings I would often watch my videos from the day with some music in the background and allow inspiration and stories to flow. After shifting between all the rooms, I finally ended up choosing to create in the living room. I know it's not exactly healthy, but the truth is that I created something most of the time, so I also wanted to be as comfortable as possible. And I also think that if I don't have the boundaries to keep some needed balance within myself, there is no number of walls and doors that will do it for me. This was also the last time I could go to the mountains before the roads get closed for the winter. Upon my arrival to the feet of the mountain, I saw an eagle or a hawk, it was too far to say, and I hired to get my camera to capture it, but in the process it was gone, of course. This was just another reminder of a lesson that I keep repeating during first my travels and then life here in Sweden, that some moments are just to be lived through and not necessary to be captured. We were made to believe that life is about suffering, but I know that our true essence is that of joy and happiness. I do believe that we come here to experience life in its all forms and so the hardships, but as much life can be dark sometimes, how we navigate through that darkness is what makes the difference. I understand that sometimes when we carry all the past wounds and traumas, it's difficult to just let go and stay in the moment. But I know that when we acknowledge our darkness, with time and work, it is often possible to utilize it. appreciation we have for what is good in our life, the more life keeps on giving.